What's up everyone, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the reasons to buy Mizu M3S. First reason would be the build and design. I have very rarely given this as a reason to buy a phone. And this is definitely the best phone in this price range in terms of design and build. I really don't care who or what Mizu mimics or gets inspired from. But you have to agree, this is a beauty to look at and use. It is sleek, comfortable for single handed use and the 2.5D curved glass looks and feels amazing. Next we have two variants with a price difference of 1300 rupees which is completely justifiable for the additional RAM and storage. 2GB of RAM is sufficient but if you are already spending 8000 rupees, spend some more and get the 32GB variant instead. Next reason would be that both the variants come with a fingerprint scanner. So if you are a basic user, you won't be missing out too much if you buy the cheaper variant. For the price, it has pretty good performance for a regular user. In terms of CPU performance, it's better than Redmi 3S, 3S Prime and Moto G4 Play. We get a super fast 360 degree fingerprint scanner and it's fully functional. You can use it for app lock and vault. Well, all the reasons are valid, but I would suggest you to buy this phone mainly for the software experience. It is very fluid, you have all the software features you need, including multi-window which was added in Android 7.0. Just a small note, there seems to be a confusion about the voiceover LTE support on this device. On the web, it is said that this device has voiceover LTE, but my GeoSIM didn't work. Well, it worked on 4G, but there is no voiceover LTE. I have read that for a query, Mizu India has officially confirmed that this device doesn't have voiceover LTE. Because of Geo, we might get voiceover LTE with an ODA update, but nothing can be said for sure as of now. Besides these, there are some other minor reasons like this device has OTG support, dual SIM support with dual 4G, we have gyroscope so we can watch 360 degree videos, and we also have screen gestures like double tap to wake and drawing characters to open applications. So a lot of cool stuff. Redmi 3S and the 3S Prime will be the best alternatives for the Mizu M3S. But in terms of build, UI, software experience and RAM management, Mizu is better than Redmi 3S or the 3S Prime. I'll be uploading a comparison between these phones, so stay tuned for that. With all this said, there are some cons to this phone. If you want to know about them, do check out my reasons not to buy this phone. Or if you want to check out my review, links for that will be in the description area below this video. If you are going to buy this phone by using the link provided in the description, it will help the channel a lot. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts or any concerns, feel free to let me know by commenting below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do subscribe and stay tuned to us. This is Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, I'll catch you in my next video.